Behold a marvel of modern engineering, a geostationary satellite model meticulously crafted in a one-to-five scale. The full-size one, as large as a small room, is now under construction in a lab in Shanghai. Meet Liu Wei, the innovative mind behind Tongyu Space. He says this satellite stands at the helm of his company's Celestial Endeavor, and is set to join the stars next September. Geo satellites is very special, and this satellite is very powerful and capable. One geo satellite can cover more than 40% of surface, and three geo satellites can. Achieve 100% coverage.、Mm. The satellite orbit will be 36,000 so, kilometers. So it orbits the the world at the same speed、yes. as the Earth.、Right? Yes, the rotate speed is same with the Earth. This geosatellite is the first of Tongyu's planned constellation of 13 satellites by 2030, with four high-orbit GEO satellites, three IGSO satellites, and six medium-orbit MEO satellites. Liu Wei explains that such an ambitious system is designed to meet the surging demand for real-time satellite remote sensing data services from global users. By the year 2030, China plans to launch more than 3,000 low-orbit satellites, and these satellites will need space-based measurement and communication services. At the same time, the rockets that launch these satellites will need real-time transmission services. This system is expected to create a market of hundreds of billions of renminbi. Over the past few decades, China's space industry has nurtured a generation of skilled professionals. Liu Wei notes that his team is made up of former national team members. His own hands have also been on the poles of numerous high-orbit satellite launches and operations. Such expertise has attracted a top player in Malaysia, eager to collaborate to extend satellite services in Southeast Asia. For instance, Indonesia mining company they need data to make sure nobody steal their mine, particularly gold mine and nickel mine. So we are using satellite data to provide intelligence. So how Malaysia positioning? We work with Changi, we work with the global satellite company to aggregate the satellite data to fit into the applications for different country and different industries and different usage and purposes. China's commercial space industry took flight in 2015. In 2023, 26 or 40 percent of China's annual launches were commercial. An aerospace expert from Harbin Institute of Technology says private companies are now competing in all space segments: rocket launches, ground facilities, satellite making, and operation. China's first one is first, it is the satellite combustion, the high speed combustion is generated, and it is through 竞争竞标获取的非常高效，成本大大下降。SpaceX 出现，呃，外来竞争就是引起，就是一种鲶鱼效应嘛。使我们的这个企业呢，就是在保证质量同时，如何提高生产效率。So this geostationary satellite by Changyu Space will finish producing by June 2025 and will be launched in September 2025 by China's Chang'e Long March 3B rocket into its orbit. I look forward to following up all this process and maybe visiting its launch sites in Sichuan's Xichang.